Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, it is insane to be able to witness firsthand over the past few years the rapid increase in technology and to see how fast AI, artificial intelligence, is progressing and why this is so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy. What I'm going to share with you guys today is just more proof that the, that the technology is now in place not only for the coming mark of the beast, but also for the image of the beast that will be able to speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. We are witnessing the infrastructure for the beast system getting set up right now. I want to share with you a couple things that were recently sent to me. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I was just sent this recently from Brothers and Sisters in Christ. Look at the title of this. AI, for artificial intelligence, brings Elvis Presley back to life. Elvis will return to the stage in an incredibly authentic version. And then I saw this. Return of the King. Elvis hologram show to premiere in London. As soon as I saw this title, I'm thinking to myself, there's only one king I'm waiting to return. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ, who is soon to return. But then it goes on to say here, Elvis Evolution promises immersive experience with concerts also planned for Las Vegas, Tokyo, and Berlin. And then this article recently came out from BBC News. Many other sources reporting on this. Look at the title. Elvis Evolution, Presley to be brought to life using AI for new immersive show. Let me read some of this to you guys. Singer Elvis Presley is set to be brought back to life virtually as part of a new immersive concert experience. Elvis Evolution will use AI and feature holographic projections of the star, created from thousands of his personal photos and home video footage. The show is set to open in London in November, this November of 2024, before moving to Las Vegas, Berlin, and then Tokyo. The company said the Presley show will feature a jaw-dropping jaw -dropping concert experience where a life-sized digital Elvis will perform iconic moments in musical history on a UK stage for United Kingdom for the first time. The show will feature a life-sized digital Presley and make use of artificial intelligence, holographic projection, augmented reality, live theater, and multi-sensory effects, layered reality said. I mean, folks, this is insane. They're talking about bringing Elvis Presley back to life virtually, and they already have shows set up in London this November of 2024 before it moves to Las Vegas, Berlin, and Tokyo. And people are fascinated with this, folks. And they're saying the show's gonna feature a life-size digital Presley and make use of artificial intelligence. As soon as I saw this story, I had to share it with you guys, but it also made me think immediately of what's recorded in the book of Revelation chapter 13. Turn with me to the book of Revelation chapter 13, verses 14 to 15. Now, in context here, Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ occurs, so the rapture of the church will occur, then the Antichrist will be revealed, and then the tribulation period will begin. We see in Revelation chapter 13, the first few verses, we see the rise of the first beast, which is referring to the future Antichrist who has not been revealed yet. Again, he will not be revealed until after the rapture. And then a few verses down when you get to verse uh, 14 to 15 here, this is talking about the false prophet. The false prophet is going to basically be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. So Revelation chapter 13, verses 14 to 15, in context here, speaking of the false prophet, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, interesting word there, speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast 
should be killed. In verse 15 there, we read that the false prophet is granted by God to give the image life, which is translated pneuma in Greek, which literally means breath. Note that the false prophet can only give it breath, but not the breath of life, as that is the power of God alone. It seems that the image has the appearance of life manifested in its ability to speak and reason. But how is this possible for an inanimate object? Until the advent of AI, artificial intelligence, and robotics, such a thing was not humanly possible. But now, many of the elements described by John in the book of Revelation can be mimicked with 21st century technology, such as an android, an AI robot designed to look, move, and speak exactly like a human. A geminoid, for example, is a special type of android that is not only created to look exactly like a specific person, but it is also equipped with technology that allows the operator to remotely manipulate and talk through it via a wearable brain-machine interface. The geminoid can reproduce the voice and movements of the actual person in whose image it is made and even capture the remote audience's response through its built-in cameras and microphones to send back to the operator. I want you to think about something, folks. Imagine if the Antichrist had control over thousands of Geminoids worldwide made in his own image and being able to speak to mankind simultaneously through the Geminoids and know exactly when someone refuses to worship it. But as soon as I saw them talking about AI bringing Elvis Presley back to life and that they had these concerts Scheduled already, we have the first one again coming up November of 2024 in London. And then shortly after that, Las Vegas, Berlin, and Tokyo. And literally, when you go to this concert, they're literally going to use AI and feature holographic project projections of Elvis Presley. It's going to look and move just like him. The bottom line, when you see stories like this, it is just more proof that the technology is now in place, not only again for the coming mark of the beast, but also for the image of the beast that will be able to speak and cause it as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. We are continuing to witness the infrastructure for the coming beast system getting set up right now. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur before the tribulation period begins. And we continue to see the tribulation casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. How close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on a lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, 
and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.